Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Today in Parliament, a daily show which gives you guys all the updates on the votes, debates and gossip that happens in the House of Commons. Today is Wednesday the 17th of May and uh, today's uh, debate in Parliament is completely dominated by AI, artificial intelligence and the digital threats uh, to the country and the political system and the, the economy in general. First things first, uh, we have obviously the, the Prime Minister's questions today. We've got the order paper from the House of Commons. Let's go through that quickly together. Um, so as usual, 11.30 a.m. they start with a prayer and our out-of-touch politicians then get together to uh, do some um, oral questions to uh, the when it comes to the areas of Scotland and of course uh, the general government when it comes to the prime minister uh, and of course we have uh, a 10 minute rule motion as usual which is on artificial intelligence regulation and workers rights then it follows by the second reading of the digital market competition and consumers bill because politicians are so they're such experts when it comes to these areas and they're going to be debating all these <laughs> very very important issues on behalf of the public we did vote for them. We elected them to be our representatives and uh, it's our fault. So, <laughs> all right, let's go through what's going on uh, throughout the day. Uh, we've got the, firstly the questions um, when it comes to the Secretary of State for Scotland. This session, which is already finished, has been dominated by people on the political left asking for more net zero and renewable energy than the alternative energy sources in general. And we can see the list of questions from a number of uh, MPs, from Kenny uh, McCaskill uh, to Ian Blackford and uh, Douglas Chapman. And there are a couple of questions that are different. It's about uh, employment opportunities in Scotland. But uh, you can see that the questions are generally dominated by renewable energy. You know, we've got questions like, what recent discussions has the Secretary of State for Scotland had with the Scottish Government on support for renewable energy? energies we've got another one saying uh, uh tommy shepherd saying what recent discussions has he had with the scottish government on support for renewable energy they're asking exactly the same questions <laughs> if you're doing prepared questions i think it will help if someone goes through them and make sure we're not just doing repetitive questions there's a reason that they they allow repetitive questions is because all these local mps depending on each constituency they can then post it on their website and social media and their newsletter and send it out to their constituents saying, hey, Mr. Constituent, I asked this question on behalf of you. Yeah, but someone else already asked that question, you idiots. But <laughs> everything is about being self-serving. That's the usual concept in Parliament. All right. <laughs> then you had the, you got the, the Prime Minister's question, the clash between Rishi Sunak and uh, uh, Keir Starmer. As usual, we've got some... Uh, uh, big names asking questions today. So Des uh, Desmond Swain, uh, we've got Esther McVeigh uh, and Craig McKinley, and we've got some other weirdos also asking their questions as usual. PMQs every Wednesday. Now, when it comes to the bills and business of the day, the first one we actually, well, we got a, a presentation of a bill, which is the Renters Reform Bill and uh, Michael Gove. The bill is uh, to make provision uh, changing the law about rented homes, including provision abolishing fixed term, assured tenancies and short, uh, short hold tenancies. And yeah, so that's in terms of the imposing the obligations on landlords to make sure uh, they're on top of it when it comes to the, the renters uh, rights and uh, the regulations around that. But what we're focusing on here is uh, the business of the day. Up to 20 minutes, uh, we've got the standing order number 23, uh, artificial intelligence, AI is going to be debated, regulation and workers' rights around it. It's a 10-minute rule uh, motion, and uh, Mick Whitley says uh, that leave the be, um, well, leave be given uh, to uh, bring in a, a bill to regulate the use of artificial intelligence technologies in the workplace to make provision about workers and trade union rights in, a, in relation to the use of AI technologies and connected and for connected purposes. Yeah, that's all we need right now. And make sure that you get the trade unions on top of it because AI will be a threat to their income. And it is quite dangerous because I think when it comes to AI and the digital markets, uh, the politicians are debating these things. They are what they want to make sure that our 
safeguarding issues around it but i'm not really sure they're actually focusing on the right areas obviously we have to make sure it doesn't really completely destroy the working uh, markets but at the same time why are they not debating the threat to consumers and ordinary citizens around the country when it comes to uh, the ai having too much access and uh, with it's literally called ai artificial intelligence for example we have in south wales which we're going to talk about later on the channel uh, they are using facial recognition uh, intelligence. Uh, we've got uh, in Fulham, Hammersmith and Fulham in East London, where they are using uh, artificial intelligence bots, robots, to monitor people and drivers, how they behave in a local area. I think I'm more concerned about that, those things uh, over everything else, uh, but obviously everything has to be debated. Now, Digital Markets, Competition and Consumers Bill, second reading of it, up to 7, uh, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., and that's also going to be focused on they're going to be talking about the money aspects of it digital money and i'm going to keep an eye on that because we don't know exactly what they're going to say <laughs> i'm not really optimistic about our mps being on top of it we'll see what happens now when it comes to westminster hall business of the day there are a number of debates that are going to be mentioned one of them is fascinating are you ready for this when i say politicians are out of touch this is a good example four o'clock today <laughs> In, in the House of Commons, well, in, in Westminster Hall, sorry, they're going to debate this. They're going to say, well, Beth Winter says that this house has considered food price inflation and food banks. For about half an hour, they're going to get together and talk amongst each other to make sure they have considered food inflation. <laughs> oh, I love my job. It's, it's just... A, the, the whole House of Parliament, sometimes when you look at the details, that's why I introduced this new show on this channel, is to show how <laughs> much of a waste of time and money it is. Uh, the, the way the procedure works, the way the whole process works in regards to our politicians using public money, taxpayers' money uh, to debate certain things. They don't. I think they, we need a bit of an upgrade when it comes to the political system right now because everything is so outdated and analogue. They just sit there. They have meetings about having a meeting to have another meeting. It's just absolutely a waste of energy. Select committees. Today is a big day as well. It's already started, actually. Uh, the Home Affairs Committee. We're going to do another video on this separately because it's about policing of public protest. The whole uh, debate is around uh, the coronation service and the way the police uh, did a crackdown on the protesters and the Republican protesters. Started at 10 a.m. They got a few witnesses we had from the Met uh, we had Matt Twist uh, we had Chris Noble who's the uh, chief uh, constable and uh, we also had uh, a couple of people from Republic the organization um, they are the whole session so far I've been watching it is has been about why has the police uh, gone so hard during that protest that day considering well national security matters you literally had the royal family there they're, they're questioning the police on that if i were there if i were an mp what i would ask is you did a good job during the coronation thank you why can't you do that every day why can't you do it a week after the coronation when extinction rebellion or just stop oil activists continue to block the roads and cause disruption why can't you just do your job properly why can't you be on top of your cases i don't understand why mps are going to parliament asking questions saying why did you do a good job but it's their job to police what you should ask is firstly we have to make sure they don't go full-on authoritarian the right to protest should exist we know that but disruption and creating a threat uh, even unintentionally is bad we know that is naughty but what i what which that they should be focusing on is why the police are not doing their job on other days and it, it, it makes no days it sense anyway this is the latest update on uh, what's going on in the belly of the beast, uh, the Westminster bubble today. Uh, we have a couple of, we got a few news shows for you guys today and we're going to do a proper structure. We're going to have schedules for you guys. 4 p.m., 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. We're going to have proper uh, news review for you guys on all the big issues of the day. And if something else happens in between, like a breaking news or some wokey nonsense, we'll come to you guys as well with a short video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya 2C and we... Are the media.